What up, fellas and fellettes? This is Ken from Dad Bros Garage. That's right, I changed my YouTube channel name because there's already a Ken's Garage out there that I just found out about. And my daughter likes to call me Dad Bro, so I guess I'm Dad Bros Garage. So, uh, in this video, we are going to be putting the truck back together. It's going to be a long video. It's going to be a long, tedious process. I'm getting I'm getting stuff in the mail, obviously, as you, as you can see here. Got the new door and the new fender. Uh, you know, today's Thursday, so I'm probably gonna first things first. I gotta clean my garage. This is just a mess. I haven't been out here for a month, or I haven't done anything to the truck since it's been wrecked, and since I've taken all this stuff off. And I've been doing yard work and other things. I've taken things out of the truck. Uh, I got other stuff in my house. I got new cushions. I got a new seat cushion. I got the new carpet coming tomorrow or Saturday. I got new spall fans. And it's warm in the garage. But yeah, first thing first is I'm gonna I'm gonna go, I'm gonna work on getting this garage cleaned up uh, before I really start doing this. This is going to take me a while. Uh, so I'll probably be skipping huge chunks of time. Because I've already done this, you know. I want to get this thing put together. And I want to get it driving again. I can't wait to start the damn thing again. It hasn't been started since it's been pulled in here. Since, I, since it got wrecked. So. Yeah, I also got to test out the spall fans. Which I'm going to do. That might make the, a separate video actually. But this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, before I even start, I'm gonna get this garage cleaned up, organized. I'm actually thinking about buying an air conditioner for this garage. Good grief, it's warm in here. Oh, I bought more wire, these wire looms. These things here, because I don't want this nastiness here. I'm gonna get this all cleaned up. Uh, you know. That's a separate video. I have to install the door the sh door shell first because I have to bolt up the hinges. This time I'm gonna see I'm gonna try my hardest to make sure that I line up the door with you know with this part right here before it was down a little bit. Oh, I bought a new steering wheel. I was thinking about buying a more expensive Momo uh, steering wheel, but I decided just to get the, the one with the Chevy emblem in the middle. Get that installed. Front fender, all that stuff. But I just wanted to come out here and uh, uh, show you guys my garage. It's a mess right now. It's just, it's an epic disaster. It's been really warm. I've been in Florida, and I just haven't had time, so let's get started, shall we? Okay, so, skip forward a couple days. I did manage to pick the garage up a little bit. Got rid of all the boxes, all the main garbage, all my yard, weed whacker and lawn tools and stuff. I managed to get out of the way. Uh, I, went to, I went to a place uptown. That does tires. And they put the new tire on the rim. They got it all balanced up for me. Uh, you know, I took the body panels off out of the boxes to get rid of the boxes. It's an awful lot of boxes I got going on here. It looks like someone fell. Just heard them fall. Yeah. It's a mess. Yeah. Alright, so. Yeah, we're we're moving, we're chugging along. We got the carpet in the mail yesterday. Nice black carpet, along with uh, the the re the cover for the seat. This is like a oh, excuse me, just burped. This is like a corduroy material. I like it. It's soft. It's you know, it's like corduroy. It's it's not gonna like give me rug burn when I sit on it. I got that on eBay for like fifty dollars. 
So if you guys are, you don't want to spend the $200 on other websites for a black seat cover, you know, I highly recommend looking at eBay. It might not, you know, the quality might not be as good, I guess, I don't know. But I like this a lot more. As you see, it's a corduroy material. I mean, it's probably a little harder to clean up though. Um, I still have to get this door. I got the door bolted up, as you can see, but it's not. I need to loosen up all the bolts and see if I can push the whole door this way a little bit because it's hitting the latch or it's hitting the inside the door a little bit. Once I get this done, uh, I'm debating on whether or not I want to go ahead and work on the fender or spall fans next. Get those in there. I'll probably make a separate video of that, maybe. Uh, get those installed, then I'll get the wire loom that I got in the mail. Got more of that stuff right there, so I can get all this mess cleaned up. And we'll get the fender on. Uh, right now, I made a bunch of shorts yesterday about my wheel here, my upper ball joint. First, I thought it was the, the upper control arm, you know, but it's, you know, it's all messed up. Uh, but it's actually the ball joint, the lower upper ball joint. See how it's bent? When she hit it, she bent the whole, the bent this right here. And it made this whole assembly go in more. And it was, it was what causes all that, all that. Somebody made me a comment, sent me a comment saying I should get the tubular control arms. But I'm actually going to save up for the QA1. This is whole front suspension. Uh, so I don't, I don't want to waste any more money on suspension parts when I'm going to save up the three grand for the whole suspension. I'm just going to get. The, I'm not going to get the undercarriage for just the upper, upper and lower control arms, coilovers for both sides. Uh. I do believe the, the, uh, damn it, I can't think of what they're called now. This thing right here, you know what I'm talking about, the, this whole assembly right here. This is, uh, when I looked at the, the number or the design, it looks like somebody already put a 70 through through 87. Damn it, why can't I think of the name of that? Uh, I'm trying to think here. Tie rod? No, you guys know what I'm talking about. But it's, yeah, it's the it's the, the the newer version where you need for the QA1 suspension. I just woke up, so my brain's not functioning properly. I'm having coffee. So yeah, that's where I'm at now. Uh, next chunk of time. Uh, hopefully I'll have the door installed. I have the QA1, the, the QA1, the fans installed. Maybe the fenders on. And then I'll start working on the interior. Alright, so. Uh, trying to get this door on. I got the other door completely taken apart. I got all the parts out ready to install here. I got the new door handle in there. But I'm running into an issue, a fitment issue trying to get this new door on here. Uh, right now I have it basically fully, you know, hinged up kind of where I want it. It's an aftermarket door, so this is truly not going to fit as well as I want it to. But the problem is here is like, okay, the top bolts can go in just fine. But the bottom bolts, see how there's a a gap there and there's a gap under here this is supposed to go all the way up but once you tighten these up it will you know it'll go it'll line up perfectly over here but when you go to open the door the door will just completely be messed up I can't get it to latch back up I had this issue with the other door I basically had to just you know get it right shut it and lock it and never open it again. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. But these aftermarket door pieces are just 
a pain in the ass. You know, I'm gonna try to mess with it a little bit more to see if I can do this. Um, but I might have to just do what I did the last door and just, you know, get get this all bolted up, get this door window completely in inside, get the this thing, this thing painted up, and then just shut it for good. Unfortunately, it's kind of stupid, but I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna try to keep working on this, see what I can do. All right, so door's completed, just about. You got all the stuff in the internals. Everything's good to go here. I'll just need to roll the window up. All right. Okay. Looks like the paint inside's fine. I just sprayed some flat black. And there's a couple spots I'm gonna I'm gonna go over again here, but yeah, we're about done. Super easy. Definitely gonna clean the windows after this. I have my handprints all over them. So now I'm gonna work on once I get this shut. I'm gonna tighten the bolts, and then we're gonna go ahead and work on the old spall fans. I got and some nut certs in. And uh, we'll get them all installed, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, get that tested out. Hey folks, so a little step ahead here. Uh, the door, I took it apart a little bit, and I got to where it shuts, opens and shuts just fine, but... I'm worried about this gap right here. This whole door, the aftermarket door, is just completely messed up. I mean, look. It's, uh, you know, that corner, cat corner's messed up anyway. All they can do is try to get the two fenders looking good. Uh, I've been, I tried every single way of getting the bolts, the hinges lined up right. Uh, if I get this, the door, out a little bit then it's it will go all the way in here but if i push it all the way in this whole thing will, it's like this door is not bent like it should it's just like straight up it's kind of a pain in the ass so i'm just gonna roll with it now i guess it i barely got the fender in there so i gotta be careful it opens and shuts Good enough I can lock the door it's good enough it's obviously this ain't a show truck and I never meant it to be a show truck so uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of a mocking up the fender uh, I gotta stop for a second and put the c10 badge in there first otherwise I won't be able to reach in there uh, I got most of my wiring kind of situated I mean there's a bunch of loose wires down there that uh, it's gonna be hard to hard to hide because this new wiring kit I put in here is just tons of wires everywhere and I'm extremely lazy. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting this C10 badge in there. This this panel already comes with the holes, which is nice. Uh, the uh, 454 one here. I'll have to drill that out. I, I lost the extra nut here. I gotta figure out what I do with that. I, I thought I had it all together right here, but apparently, apparently, it disappeared on me. I mean, I'll, have to, I'll figure something out. But yeah, uh, that's what I'm. That's where I'm at now. Almost got it. I'm going to have to take that wheel back and get it balanced again. I'm going to take it somewhere else because uh, the place I, I did get it balanced, that I got the tire changed, they wanted to use these big, huge white, uh, you see them, weights. These things, 
I don't like them. And he put it, he put the weights uh, inside far enough to where my tie rod scraped them all off in one, one turn. <laughs> uh, whereas the other place I went to, when they balanced it, they, they put it under here with tape to make it look nice. So I'm going to take it back there. So, uh, I want to, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and try to finish up putting this fender up today. You know, this scamp sucks. I can't figure out what else to do here, man. I can see if I can push the hinge back a little bit, I suppose. And, uh, see if we can get that. But, I'm not touching this anymore. I give up. So, yeah. It's a hot rod, not a show truck. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to continue doing this. Alright, so. I think I got this okay. Best I can so far. Um, I still obviously have a little bit more to go. But I'm going to call our quits for today. I'll just finish this video up and you know, I'll uh, finish the video off. I'm, I am going to try to start the thing. I haven't started it in over a month since the crash. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have steering wheel or nothing. I'm just going to leave it park and i got to make sure I have gas first, actually. I'm totally not even sure if there's any gas left in this thing. I'm pretty sure I left it with like a full tank of gas, but hell, this stuff evaporates so fast. can't even see in there. I almost lost the clips. The actual clips that you use to, to screw the, uh, in, the inside fender into here. I found, I forgot to take, take them off there. I almost threw it away. Now, so now I can actually, but the, this fender, inner fender is all screwed up here. You can see it. I'm going to have to try to take a pair of pliers and bend that the right way. I'd like to, you know, start this thing up once before I call her quits. Yeah, I see gas in there. There's a bunch of gas in there. There's a little bit left in there. You know, I haven't started this thing forever. I don't know if it will start. This door sucks, man. I don't know what else to do. Unless you bend the damn thing. Whatever. Alright. Make sure this is all, if all the power is hooked up. Uh, make sure there's nothing going to hit the pulley here. It'd be a damn shame if I rip the, the line out of here. I'm going to have to do something with that line down there. I tried putting this stuff in here, but it just came out. All right, so holding it down, he's touching. That started, that was starting to touch a little bit. I'm gonna have to move this. Cry mini. All right. Let's try this out. Hopefully without hurting herself. Sitting on the old cooler. Miss driving this thing. Probably do for an oil change. 
change soon. Can't believe it just started right up like that for a bump. That's insane. I'm so happy with this thing. Oh, I bought these uh, six by nine steel or steel fixtures that go in there. I want to buy something for the the gas cap. I'm gonna buy a dummy gas cap for in here.
red. think blowing that warm air out of there look at it sucking to my Sipna flag see that there's so much power that it's sucking the Slipknot flag <laughs> you can feel the heat hell yeah brother all right All right, well, now that I've pissed off all my neighbors, oh well, uh, you know, this thing is uh, its ready to go. I just gotta get the interior done, put all this back together. Maybe I'll make a quick part two of me putting it all, the rest of it, like the level, I gotta put the plates back on here. Uh, I gotta do more bolting of this fender. I just wanted to fire this thing up so bad. Um, yeah. I'll take it for a drive. I gotta get the tire rebalanced. I'm gonna see if I can take my screwdriver and get my flag off there. So I actually, I've ordered this, I tried to reorder the same flag here twice from Amazon. They keep sending me the wrong one. I'm about to say to heck with it and see if I can just see how thick how thick that is. That's all in them. Not break it. We got it. I'm gonna have to get some kind of new adhesive then. I'm gonna reuse this puppy. It's a little bent now, but I'll, I'll fix it up. And we'll reuse that. It's nice and warm in here now. Looks like the fans are keeping it cool. I won't, the won't know for sure until I get this thing for a, taking this thing for a drive. Uh, I gotta buy new hinges, new hood hinges before I can even drive it around because uh, the ones I had, are, they didn't close the hood all the way. So, and you know, obviously then I gotta work on the interior. You see I got the new corduroy, corduroy looking seat cover, new black carpet there. I got all this, as you know, there's more black uh, fabric stuff. And I'm gonna put it back there and up in there somewhere and then get the seat in here and then get the hood hinges and finish all the bolts and then we can go I'm dying to get this thing going man alright guys hope you enjoyed this video write me a thumbs up subscription if you wish and I'll see you all next time take care